Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Godzilla, and today I'll be showing you how to get Halo Online quick and easy, and also how to play it online with your friends. I won't spend my time talking about the game because you wouldn't be here if you didn't already know what it was. Without further ado, let's get right into it. First off, you navigate to the Pirate Bay for this torrent. This is where you'll find the game files. Um, you'll need uTorrent or BitTorrent to be able to download them, obviously. And to initiate the download, you will click on Get This Torrent. Then you'll click on Launch This Application, then press OK to add it to your um, uTorrent library. The next thing you want to download is the El Dorito uh, Updater slash Launcher. This updates the game and also serves as your launcher. The hacking team that developed the launcher named it after the original launcher named El Dorado. You know, they see they renamed it from El Dorado to El Dorito to, you know, make fun of. Yeah, you get, you get what I'm saying. All right. The last thing you want to download is the Oracle Net client. This will allow you to connect with other players who have the game, thus allowing you to play with them. So after you have all of them downloaded, bring them all out to your desktop so it's quick and easy. First, you want to extract all of the files. So to extract all of them, you'd click right click and then extract to here. Right click, extract to here, right click, extract to here, etc., etc. Now, you'll click on this haze file and you will copy and then you will open up Halo and then right click and paste all of those files and you will click on copy and replace. Click yes. Copy and replace. There you go. The first thing you want to do is click on Dorito Updater. Cl click Run. It's validating game files. Now it's asking us to update it. You click on Update. Wait for it to download completely until we have our Dorito executable. It says Update Complete, uh, Run El Dorado Executable, Start the Game, and Enjoy. All right. So this file right here is your new launcher. This will launch your game, etc., etc. Now to get the Oracle Net client, we'll click here and we'll run the updater. Click run. This Oracle updater will update. Click yes. Update complete. And now it'll run this application here. And it is asking you to sign in with a username and password, but you don't have an oracle.net account so you can't do that just yet to do that you will navigate to the um the link in the description and that is where you can fill out the application not necessarily an application it's just like signing in you know creating an account signing in and then once you've created um accepted the email blah 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 then you will be able to sign in here let me sign in Then I will click on my server, which I'm in the United States West, so I'll click on the Synon or Synon US West server, and I'll click in, I guess, remember me when I log in, I click on login. Wait for it to connect. You know, minimize some stuff in the background. See, now it says connected, launch El Dorito now. Okay, so we leave this open, we minimize it, then we go back to the Halo file, and then we find our uh, Dorito updater. Now we right click, run as administrator, blah, 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 run it, and now the game will be running. This application will pop up, and it will verify your game. First thing you want to do is click on settings, and type in your player name. Let's say I put in my name. Then we click on play game. Click run, and this console slash command prompt will pop up, and the game will start. Once you get into the game, this is how it will look. The settings are kind of fucked up on how you navigate the menu screen, so make sure you visit the settings or you just um, use a gamepad. I have a gamepad, so what I'll do is I'll click on settings, and I'll go to controls, and I'll click on this arrow, change it to gamepad, and I'll click on OK, and I'll be able to use my controller in the menu. So to find games, you'll click on play multiplayer, you will navigate to network, switch it to online and find game. 
and there should be a list of available games that people have created to for you to connect to and play. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me how I did in this tutorial. It's the first one I've done. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.